In today's video, I wanna show you how you can set a variable in SSIS by calling a database table. This is a question I actually get quite a bit on my SSIS videos asking how to do this. So I figured I'd show you directly, walk you through step-by-step step so you can then do it on your own and implement this on your projects. So at a high level, the way this is gonna work on SSIS is first we're going to use an execute SQL task to query a table. We're then going to use the result value to set a variable within SSIS right through that SQL statement. And then third, we're gonna see how we can then use that variable later on to run another SQL query, but you could use it for anything else. So with that said, let's now hop over to the screen share and I'll walk you through how to do this. All right, so here we are in SQL Server Management Studio. I created a fake configuration table, but this is something that you very well could create with your real you know, configuration value. So one thing we're gonna have to do in SSIS when we use this is we can only get one row at a time for this to work the way we want. So ultimately we'll do a select one. Uh, and what I'll do, the query is going to be select top one from the table, and I'm gonna order it by last run date. So what we're gonna do is pull from this table to get a value, specifically we want this conference value, store that as a variable in SSIS, and then run this query here and insert to select these values where a conference is east, but we're gonna replace this with the variable. So it would return these values and insert them into here, which again is empty right now. Okay, that's a lot at once, so let's hop into SSIS and see this in action. Here I am in SSIS, I'm on the main canvas and I'm going to just add an execute SQL task. Let's click on this here. We'll go right down to uh, connection. We're gonna do an OLE DB connection. And I already have this set up in my project. If you don't have this, you'll need to create this and I have other videos on how to do that. But I have a connection directly to that staging schema where we've built this. It will be a direct input query. And the SQL statement, like we mentioned, is gonna be that select top one. In this case, this is gonna be our example of getting a uh, config. So let me just actually call this get config values. So it's easier to understand. I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. So now it's going to run that query, but we want to use the output to do something with. In our case, we're going to do single row. And that's why we did the top one. You could do other options, but that's outside the scope uh, of this video. So we'll do single row. The next important step is to go now to result set. And because we are setting a result set here, because we are setting this, we can now do this, this becomes active. And what we'll do now is select add. And this is where we're going to set the result set a variable. It's so now the result name here will be the name of the column that we're trying to pull from. The column we want is conference value. We'll do it exactly like this, lowercase with the underscore in between. And now variable name, this is something that if you already have these built, you could just you know pull from an existing one, but we don't have any variables uh, here yet, as we can see down here. So I'm gonna create a new one. The container is my new package, which is the name of my whole SSIS package. For name, we'll call this var conference. You know, name it whatever you want. You can give it a namespace. We'll keep it as a user and the value type we'll keep to string as well. We don't have to set a default value here uh, because we're gonna set this from the result of this query. Now imagine here, if you had a table with a bunch of configurations or a bunch of defaults, you would just create variables for each of those. So you would have multiple variables for each default value and set them with the appropriate column name. All right, so let's click okay. And now we can see it shows up down here. It's empty value uh, and nothing there. So the first thing I wanna do is prove that this works. And the way we can do this is let's do first right click edit breakpoints and we're going to edit we're going to add a breakpoint on post execute so that it, when we debug this it'll stop real quick and we can take a look at what the variables are set as so with this in place now let's go ahead and select start in debug mode and now it's stopped because it's waiting for us and i have local set up here to, to view this if you don't have this down here what you can do is go to debug windows locals and if you select this this window will uh, appear down here and if we select variables, we should be able to find that one that we said here, var conference, and we can see it's set to east, which is exactly what we expected. Because if we go uh, back here again, that's what we expected here. 
So the value is being set correctly. We can go ahead and finish this off and we're all good. Okay, so now the next step is how do we use this for anything? What we're going to do now, you know, at this point you, you can just use it as a, as a variable as you normally would, but just to show you how to do this, I'm gonna drag another execute SQL in here. We'll call this insert East teams because what we're going to do is run this query here. So I'm actually gonna copy this. We wanna insert into this new table where conference is East, but again, we're gonna replace this East with a variable and I'll show you how to do that. Connection again, staging. We don't have a result set in this case. We're just inserting in the query. I'll copy this and paste this in here. And what we will do, I'm gonna delete this whole part here. Instead of East, what we're going to do in order to use the variable is use a question mark. And I'll add the semicolon back in. And the question mark here is going to say to SSIS that it's expecting a parameter. And we can set that then up here with the mapping. So just go ahead and uh, do this. If you have multiple um, parameters, you could just put multiple uh, question marks and then I'll explain how you, you differentiate here in a second. So now we have this set. Let's go to parameter mapping. Here is where we map what value we want to put into that question mark. And again, we want that east value. Expand this a little bit. All right, so the variable name. So we're mapping a variable to a parameter. The variable like we just saw is var conference. It's going to be an input because this value is coming into uh, this parameter. The data type is var car because we said it's a string value. And now here is where we need to be uh, very specific about how we use this. Remember we have the question mark, but the way this works is you have to give it the number based on occurrence. So in our case, we actually are gonna do zero here. The first value in it is actually indexed zero. So you put zero for the first value. If you had two or three question marks, the second occurrence would be one and then two, three and so on and so forth. In our case, it's zero. So again, it's going to replace this with that value. That's number zero. All right, let's select OK, connect these, and I'm going to get rid of the breakpoint here, and let's go ahead and run this. Right away, it was it was successful. So let's uh, go double check that this worked. Back here in in uh, SQL Server Management Studio, let's take a look now at this new table. It inserted all of the values from the Eastern Conference where this was true. So there's six values here. If we were to run this query six values and it inserted it. All right, so there you have it. That's how you can configure SSIS to reference a database table to set variables and use it however you want in the rest of your project. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next week.